oftentimes I look around and we're all in tears. Even these veteran cameramen mm -hmm. who've been, you know, shooting stuff for 30 years are in tears. It's inspiring to mm -hmm. see people stand up, you know, sound the alarm for a stranger. Do you think people don't act out of not a lack of empathy, but maybe fear? Yeah, oftentimes uh, there's that concern, you know, there might be repercussions. We never advise that everyone jump in when they witness something like this. But that makes those heroes who do stand up all the more, the stronger, right? Uh, women, by the way, do a better job of doing this. I don't know if it's the maternal instinct or because wow. you're braver than us guys. And I think it's because guys think it might become physical, right? And they worry about mm -hmm. that added element. Uh, women, you guys do a much better job. <laughs> so, John, you explored this Karen phenomenon on your show. We've been talking a lot about it. You created a situation very similar to what played out recently in Central Park. Yours takes place in Mississippi. So briefly, though, explain the Karen phenomenon, and then we'll play the clip for people who don't know what that is. Um, you know, people presume the worst of someone based on their appearances. The way to, to stop that is if we just for a few seconds stop ourselves and ask ourselves, why am I thinking the worst of this person? And if we do that, we're less likely to be so judgmental. But we're seeing it all over the place. People with hidden camp with their own cell phones taking these you know, videos of people doing outrageous things. Let's take a look. You, you're babysitting for these two children? Yes. And their parents are aware of this? These first customers clearly hear Jennifer's line of questioning. Can she take a picture with her cell phone? I'm going to take a picture of these kids so that I have a record of this. Oh. Serious right now? Sorry, it seems like a very odd situation. They turn the tables on our actress and start throwing questions her way. What's up, what's wrong? Is it a black guy with two white people? Is that it? Yeah. It just doesn't look right to me. Wait, don't, why, why, why is it right? I'll tell you, John, those actors are incredible. Have you ever been in a mm. scenario where you look around and think, is this happening to me? Is my team testing <laughs> yeah. what would I do? <laughs> you know, because of where I come from, because I'm Latino, I've encountered real life situations like this. The other day I was at the airport and I was getting on a flight to New mm. York and this woman thought I was jumping ahead of myself and that I was ahead of my class, if you will. So she started yelling at me. I didn't say a word, but she didn't recognize wow. me from television. She started saying, sir, the, the line starts over here. Why are you getting on the plane? Oh. The announcement, she says, and this was the clincher, she said the announcement was made, the announcement was made in English. We speak English <gasps> in America. Oh. I swear to God. And everyone else in line had the same reaction. They said, oh my God, John, is this a what would you do scenario? <laughs> People who recognize me from the show. And I said, no, unfortunately, it's, it's real life. And I'm sitting at the, she said, oh, she sent me oh. to the back of the line. I didn't want to cause a scene, but I was worried, you know, what if I sit next to this mean mm. lady on the plane? I don't want to do that, right? Mm. And I, she was yeah. sitting by herself when I got on the plane and I leaned over and I couldn't resist Tamron. I said, ma'am, my name is John Quinones and I do a TV show called What Would You Do? And you would be yes. perfect for the show. You could play the role of a racist. <laughs> she gave me a dirty oh, look. Yes. Well, that's, <laughs> listen, that is a phenomenal <laughs> story, and thank you for sharing it. I'm telling you, one of the best journalists in the business, a hero of mine, John Kionis, thank you so much. The show, of course, 12 years. What Would You Do? airs Tuesday nights, 10 p.m. on ABC. Thank you, John. Stay safe. Thank you, Cameron.